Are you worried about OLED burn-in? Did you know you can reduce the risk of getting burn-in on your OLED TV by simply changing your Netflix subtitles from this to this? Let me show you this trick. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Theo, and I specialize in helping people get the best out of their televisions. If you ever use subtitles on Netflix, sometimes they can be too bright, especially in Dolby Vision content. Now, it is extremely unlikely that modern-day OLED TVs will develop burn-in if you vary your content. But if you are going to watch subtitled Netflix programs for hours a day over the next few years, the risk goes up substantially, so it is best to take some precautions. Fortunately, Netflix allows you to change the appearance of your subtitles, so our goal is to find a combination of golden settings that will pose the least risk of OLED burn-in if you frequently use subtitles on Netflix. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into your own Netflix account or someone else's Netflix account <laughs> on your laptop or PC. And then if you can go to the top right of the screen, click on account. And then if you can scroll down, click on your own profile, scroll down again, click on subtitle appearance. And the first thing to do is to reduce the text size of the subtitles, change it to small because I think the smaller the surface area that is occupied by the subtitles, the less likely you are going to incur any image retention or permanent screen burn damage. But obviously, if you are struggling to read the subtitles text, then maybe you have to go up to medium. But in all honesty, I prefer just going with the smallest text size and then maybe sit closer to the screen to read the subtitles. As I always say, if you move closer, you'll look bigger. And then the next thing I normally do is to change the color of the subtitle and I would change it to black because with a black font, what it means is that the OLED subpixels are not activated and you can reduce the risk of permanent burn-in. And then you can click on semi-transparent as well, which will reduce the intensity or brightness of the subtitle. And then with regards to the font itself, I would stick with the default of block because I have experimented with all other fonts on Netflix and they all generally occupy a larger surface area than just using block by itself. So from that point of view, I would just stick with block. Obviously, I think with small caps, you know, you may get a slightly smaller surface area that is occupied but it is less legible so I would just stick with block and then with regards to the drop shadow I would leave it as default because you know if you turn off the drop shadow then it will make it less legible but what we need to do is to change the color of the shadows to white this will provide a bit of contrast for the subtitles to become more legible and obviously with the white here you're activating some OLED subpixels but it is very very faint as you can see on screen now and it is only a very small portion of the subtitle so I don't think that this is something that you need to sacrifice and then with the background and the window I would leave it just as default which is off obviously if you want to destroy someone else's OLED you know you can just put a red <laughs> background but you know we are not going to try and self-harm our own OLED now, just leave it off so that it is the cleanest possible subtitle that is still legible. And if you click on save, you will see this message. And then what you need to do is to go back into the Netflix app on your TV. Click on get help, then click on reload Netflix, which will force the application to restart. Now, when you turn on subtitles on Netflix, they will take on a darker, more benign appearance that will slow down the differential aging of the OLED subpixels and therefore prolong the lifespan of your OLED television. Besides benefiting OLED TVs, optimizing your Netflix subtitles in this manner should also help with reducing blooming and backlight fluctuations on full or local dimming LED LCDs too. If you would like to watch more of our useful videos on TV settings, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and I will see you in the next video. Baby.